So this is all going to be the inside part, right? Yeah, the, the high, higher level. The higher level is, is, uh -huh. the, is the room addition. This is big. So this is all going to be the inside part, right? Yeah, the, the high, higher level. The higher level is, is, uh -huh. the, is the room addition. So you can see it's, it's going to create some interesting things on the on the roof line. We're going to have to tie in the house. Interesting little triangle built off of the home right now. And so this is really going to add some cool dimension to it. And and then of course we've got a patio here that's dropped down to keep the water from coming in. So what's this? This is going to be walls removed. No, I mean, why are we... What? Oh, the plywood? Yeah. Oh, that's because we had to access the plumbing. Oh, okay. We had to access the plumbing here. And, uh -huh. and as you see something kind of unusual here, uh -huh. this is because we had to tie into a drain for the... for the to be able to access it from the new addition. But we still need the existing sink to work while we attach to it. So after we pour, we can cut this cut this off whenever it's time. It'll keep running. The sink will keep running in the meantime. Uh -huh. Now this is something you only have to do in remodeling, right? Yeah. That's funny. So yeah, so we're we're, we're putting in a new drain here that uh, attaches because of the way we're we're changing things out in the kitchen. The old drain has to go away, so we had to access it because this wall is coming out over here for the kitchen. Okay. And where it was at was on an angle, so that means you have to get rid of it because it would be sticking in the wrong place. Mm -hmm. That's kind of an oversimplification. <laughs> this is huge. Yeah, so I want to show you all what it looks like as we go through after the pour. What we had done today was a pre-pour inspection, and that's an engineered inspection that checks the steel, that checks the spacing, it checks the spacing from the steel to the uh, slab, as you can see, it's all lifted up like this on top of the bricks. Do and those bricks stay there when we pour? Yeah, they pour right around it. Okay. Uh -huh. And then it checks the overlaps on all the steel, how long they overlap. All of these bars have to overlap a certain distance. We also have a uh, inspection on clearance around the beams so there's no dirt around them. The plumbing. And the plumbing is going to be inspected later. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's a different inspection. And so we got the inspection today, which means we can pour tomorrow, which is great because it's a good day, very small chance of rain, and, and then it's going to get colder. Yeah. It's not good to pour in cold weather, right? It's okay, as long as it's not wet. Oh. Yeah, so you don't want to pour it when it's freezing. It makes yeah. it congeal. Now it just takes longer to cure, and uh, it's better than a real hot day, that's for sure. True. This is exciting. So we did not do this. <laughs> It'll be all right until we can replace it. Yeah, it is exciting, isn't it? Yeah. It's a nice big change to this backyard. You, fortunately, they had enough room in the backyard. Another thing you can see that Justin can show is the what we took out, the, the patio foundation. Right here. This all had this all came out because it was not it was too close to the edge of the concrete. It was too thin. I mean too close and it wasn't strong enough to pour over. So you can see it had a lot of brick in it, things like that. But but even if it gets too close to the surface of the concrete, then it's just not acceptable. The concrete is not going to be strong enough, so we have to get rid of it. But we've got a trailer out there we can throw it in. It's going to dramatically change this home.